What's going on guys, Josh here from Momentum Productions and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to recreate lightning. We're gonna be using lights only. We're not gonna be using any effects that you would find in Premiere or Final Cut Pro. So don't forget to give this video a big like and subscribe with those notifications turned on so that way you don't miss any of my future content. All right, let's get started. In this video, I'm gonna be using the Aperture 120D Mark II, and I'll explain why specifically the 120D Mark II in just a moment. And we're gonna be using the Aperture Mini 20D. So with the 120D Mark II, we have a special ballast that comes with the light, and this ballast allows us to actually have different lighting effects. And I went for the lightning effect. So what it does, it gives you one solid burst of strong light, followed by multiple mini bursts after that. Our second light, which is the Mini 20D, will be our moonlight. And our moonlight is not only responsible for producing moonlight, but it's also meant to actually light up the subject without the lightning. So you need to have these two lights, one responsible for not only producing the moonlight, but also establishing a subject, and the other light will be the one responsible for those lightning blasts. So here's how the setup looks like. On the outside of my balcony, I put up my 120D Mark II on a very high light stand and pointed it down approximately at a 45 degree angle. My Mini 20D was right beside my 120D Mark II and was at a similar height and at a similar angle. So on its own, the Mini 20D doesn't reproduce moonlight the way I want it to look. So I decided to go with one of these little CTBs. This is a little film that you can insert in front of your Fresnel light and it completely changes the color. As you can see here, here's the Mini 20D just blasting light. And then with this film inserted, you can completely see the difference in color. It looks like organic moonlight. When it comes down to the intensity of the light for the Mini 20D, it was set to about 40%. Now onto the settings with the 120D Mark II, I had it set to about 48% power, and I had the frequency set at eight, and I was able to get really nice lightning effects. Now I want you to take a close look at how I lit this scene. If you notice, the subject's nose is completely blacked out by the blinds. For some horror movies, this is a great way to just reveal something really crazy happening to the actor's face when the lightning hits. Also notice the catch light, and for those of you who don't know what a catch light is, it's basically that reflection of the light that we see in a person's pupil on their eye. These shots come out very cinematic when we see that catch light. Now, I was thinking to myself, how could I simulate rain? I went about it really cheaply. I just filled up a cup of water and I just spilled it on the glass. Now, there were two different things that I had to experiment with. One was just like sprinkling water on the glass, which didn't really look real. It didn't even produce the shadows that I wanted on my subject's face. I wanted my subject's face to have that reflection of the raindrops or the shadows of the raindrops on their face. So the best way I was able to do that was actually pour out a lot of water on the glass. I actually spilled it up top. Here's a little shot of it right now. And you can see how the water trickles down the glass. And it actually produced a perfect effect of there being a hardcore storm going on. You can see the shadows of the water drops on my subject's face. And that's the exact effect that I wanted. On top of that, we get the moonlight and the 120D Mark II doing its lightning effects, and we have a full-on storm. All you gotta do is add in some sound effects, and boom, there you go. And that's how you make lightning. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.